Hi, Sopna. How are you? Yeah, hi Rakesh. Uh, uh, I'm doing good. Thank you. How about you? I'm, I'm good too. Thank you. So, Sopna, many, many congratulations to you for getting selected in one of the MNC company, right? And uh, um, many, many congratulations. And how do you feel about it right now? Uh, thanks, Rakesh. Actually, uh, yeah, I'm feeling happy and uh, uh, at the same time, um, it's a good opportunity to work with a new uh, company, actually. Great, great. So, uh, Sopna, how many years of experience you have? Like, you have five to ten years of experience, I think, right? Yes, yes. Nine plus years into testing. Right, right. And uh, how did you came to know about this job opportunity? Uh, actually, uh, most of the calls are through Naukri only. Mm -hmm. So, once we update the resume and... Uh, uh, on daily basis, uh, we we get uh, regular calls, and uh, uh, as the demand is huge these days, the market is going good. So we are getting uh, enough calls for uh, right. through many um, by many companies. Okay, okay, great. So, uh, how many companies did you apply, and uh, after how much time did you get the job? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, it's time taking uh, to frankly say, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, there is a lo uh, lot, it needs uh, getting a job needs a lot of uh, preparation and hard work actually. Uh, so it's not going to get at a single attempt. So uh, we need some preparation and uh, we need some interview experience as well, uh, where uh, to get a uh, good opportunity. And uh, finally, uh, we have to be uh, satisfied with the uh, all the timings, the work locations, and uh, basically uh, every criteria of the job that we are going to join. So it was around uh, six months of time I, I took. Mm -hmm. uh, initially, uh, by attending some interviews and getting the interview experience also uh, makes us uh, convenient enough to uh, grab uh, any opportunity. Correct, correct, right, right. So I think you did a lot of preparation. You did uh, preparation in Cold Java. You prepared for automation. And then you did interview preparation. And then you got a job finally. So how much percentage hike you have got? Uh, it, it was around 70 to 80 percent of hike. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Wonderful. Uh, is it possible for you to recall a few of the interview questions that you have got? So that the people who are watching the success story can also come to know what kind of interview questions they can expect from any questions that you are able to recall. I'll, I'll jot it down quickly. Yeah, sure. Uh, basically, the uh, few of the com like most of the companies are uh, more mainly focused on uh, the uh, the programming part. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, the knowledge on Java, uh, where uh, uh, they are uh, expecting enough knowledge uh, from the candidate on uh, collections framework. Mm -hmm. Right. Then. Yeah. Uh, each and every concept wise, uh, uh, they are checking our knowledge levels, like uh, uh, mm, like all the collections, like uh, the linked list, like mm -hmm. that hashes, the hash map, array list. Uh, they they want they will they want us like uh, we should be uh, thorough with the uh, functionality of those uh, collections and mm. as well as the programming part. Programs and the functionality programs. Okay. Collections is the main uh, target uh, uh, by the interviewer, like uh, mm. the knowledge levels and uh, as well as the uh, implementation part uh, in the project uh, that mm. we are. Having. Okay, so they'll ask you how did you implement collections in framework? Okay. Okay, what else? Um, uh, other than that, uh, um, after checking this knowledge levels uh, uh, at the functional end, uh, they are uh, uh, mainly focused on uh, giving us a task uh, or uh, writing a program uh, where they want to implement the collections. Uh, uh, on the uh, task that they have given us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Programs related to collections. Okay. Any any program that you are able to recall, maybe uh, uh, counting the number of uh, character occurrences in the string, was it program yeah. being asked? Frequency of characters, frequency of uh, numbers, okay. uh, and, uh, 
the repeated characters in a string. Mm -hmm. So right. basically, uh, such questions and they are specific to implement uh, using the collections itself, uh, mm -hmm. not any other the basic knowledge of uh, Java. Correct, correct. So they are asking to write the program using the collection concept only. Yes. Okay. What else? Uh, and other than that, uh, the general programming skills also they were asking like uh, reversing a string, uh, reversing each word in a string and uh, mm -hmm. counting the duplicate words uh, uh, in a string actually. Mm -hmm. And sorting an array. Sorting an array. Okay. And concept wise here and there, uh, the OOPS concepts and uh, those things are the generic questions that uh, uh, everyone should expect from an interviewer, like whenever you are attending any interview. Mm -hmm. All right. Oops, concepts are the ones. Then? So once once they are satisfied with this level, uh, this knowledge level of, uh, uh, this knowledge levels in Java, so then they'll uh, switch to the next level of uh, asking Selenium questions. Okay. Uh, like uh, selenium uh, first uh, concept based questions they'll uh, they'll be testing uh, our knowledge uh, then uh, any scenario based questions uh, in, in uh, uh, selenium like uh, handling uh, uh, multiple windows that is a basic question uh, that uh, we we get uh, asked by every mm -hmm. interview right there are uh, certain different questions in uh, handling the uh, multiple windows um, mm -hmm. Uh, they, th that is uh, again on spot and uh, again the uh, interviewer's choice of uh, questions like uh, uh, how how uh, the Windows functionality that has to be handled in Selenium. Windows so that, functionality. Yeah, multiple Windows functionality. Mm -hmm. They can they can uh, ask in their own uh, approach right. like uh, how to switch to particular window and how to get back to. Uh, this specific window, so mm -hmm. such sort of questions based on their uh, uh, working knowledge, uh, they'll be asking us. Correct. Okay. Yeah. And a few other questions on handling the Ajax elements and uh, 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 drop downs using uh, 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 with select class and without select class. Mm -hmm. uh, without select class uh, was a um, different question that uh, I have faced these days. So, mm -hmm. so they were uh, they were specifically asking uh, without using uh, select class how can we handle it how can you handle it okay uh, and next uh, once they are uh, satisfied with uh, this uh, knowledge levels of uh, selenium then it's again uh, here and there uh, they'll be checking our uh, um, involvement in the project and the framework level like uh, mm -hmm. are we involved uh, from the basic level of uh, framework uh, building and uh, how much uh, participation that we have done in the framework building. Mm -hmm. And the uh, framework related questions like uh, if we, if our experience is related to BDD Cucumber and uh, TDD frameworks, uh, they'll be uh, asking the uh, scenarios based on BDD, TDD frameworks like handling the test data uh, and also uh, like the few of the questions in test ng maven jenkins the builder related uh, questions also uh, mm. we are asked okay devops questions are also asked yeah actually uh, these days uh, the interviewer is expecting uh, end to end uh, experience uh, from a tester like uh, uh, even the devops the deployment uh, knowledge also mm -hmm. uh, they want us to know actually Okay. Right, right. And uh, again, after uh, after this uh, sort of questions, then uh, the GitHub, the repository uh, questions are being asked, mm -hmm. like how the Git commands are uh, implemented and uh, how how the Git is uh, framed in your project. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which are the different Git commands that you might be using? Yeah. Git reset and all those things they will ask. Yes. Yeah. Right. 
i think and as a part yeah. of real time experience they are uh, checking our knowledge levels like uh, how uh, how the frameworks are being implemented and uh, uh, what are the various um, uh various areas where uh, how data tables like uh, excel files uh, data handling using collections how uh, uh, how those are being used in your project mm -hmm. so those kind of knowledge also they are expecting so that uh, uh, are joining in their uh, team or uh, organization would be uh, more beneficial correct correct so how do you handle the data via json file via excel via collections yes more mm -hmm. questions in the data perspective actually okay test data related more test questions hmm. fine yeah and uh, like uh, they want to they want to know like how where the collections are being implemented in our project uh, like Sorry, uh, where we have again? Uh, where the collection classes are being implemented in our project, like uh, in real time, how did we get to use those, uh, like set or maps? Uh, uh, at what, uh, like uh, whenever we are using uh, uh, like uh, test data uh, and uh, uh, like handling the dynamic data, so which sort of collections uh, and its classes that we are going to that we have used? Mm -hmm. So such, uh, such type of uh, knowledge also uh, they are. Uh, Great, great. I think uh, you covered a lot of questions, a lot of topics, content as well that the yeah. community can prepare, right? Anything yeah. else apart from these things, anything else you would like to add from the questions perspective, from the interview perspective that a candidate should be knowing? Mm. Again, um, by attending uh, like uh, the interviews we uh, we get to know like uh, we should also prepare uh, uh, what we were able to answer and what uh, that uh, we need a uh, preparation right and, right yeah we we just need to uh, recall after the interview mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, we get, we uh, we need to sort out like on what things we need to prepare for the next interview so that uh, we can move the, to the next level uh, for the next interview Correct, correct. Yeah. So if we can analyze how many questions we gave the answers and which were the topics in which we need to prepare more, that would assist us in getting selected in the maybe next interviews, upcoming interviews. Right. Great, great. Uh, do you feel that the remote jobs are there still in the market or we have only work from office or hybrid roles only? Uh, uh, like... Uh... Actually, uh, it again depends on time to time. Like uh, sometime uh, the companies are uh, approaching uh, for only for the work from office jobs. Mm. Uh, so later when the uh, when they are not finding the resources in the market, they are giving us an option for uh, uh, for to work as a remote opportunity. So it's again uh, uh, there. Uh, uh, when when the resources are less, uh, mm -hmm. we may get an opportunity to work remote as well. Right, right. Yeah. So, uh, Swapna, I am done from the questions from my side. You have anything to share with the community? You have anything to uh, share which can assist them in getting the uh, jobs? Yeah, jobs in the sense like uh, that's what uh, we need a uh, back to back preparation and uh, our uh, hard work and efforts are also. Uh, pretty much needed uh, to right. get uh, settled in a good company. Mm -hmm. So that sort of uh, preparation and uh, uh, this, uh, like uh, the we should make the interior feel uh, or satisfied. Basically, whenever we are giving an answer, uh, the confidence uh, and the answer that we are going to give uh, that should be appropriate. Uh, for the question and the scenario that they have asked. So mm -hmm. if that sort of satisfaction uh, when we are giving to an interviewer, uh, then it's uh, easy to, uh, to get a job opportunity in this today's market. Uh, and at the I, same time, uh, mm -hmm. I was approaching you uh, for mm -hmm. the interview support and uh, sometimes for the interview preparation. Uh, that was a good level of confidence that I was getting from you. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it was uh, it was also 
contributed for uh, for my new job uh, opportunity all right right great yeah. great happy to assist you on those lines yeah exactly yeah and uh, i'm really thankful yeah so, thank you uh, for coming today on this channel as well right yeah. and be sharing thank your success story with us yeah yeah please please go ahead you are telling something yeah yeah thanks uh, actually uh, that was uh, really good support uh, for uh, for me actually okay okay great yeah i'm i'm happy to assist you i'm happy that uh, you got placed and you got a good job opportunity and uh, it's really uh, good to know that you know people are getting help from people are getting assistance from these kind of videos and interview preparation all those things because the interviews have changed the process have changed a lot if you see pre covid time pre pandemic time people were able to give the interviews they were getting the jobs as well but now the interview process is becoming a bit difficult bit tough sometimes the inter in the interviews they are asking all those kind of questions which are not relevant to their project as well okay. they are just trying to make it more and more complex which is not necessary at all right so such kind of things are happening but good to know that you have got a job and very happy for you and once again congratulations to you right and thank you you came today and uh, you took out some time because i can understand you have got a lot of responsibilities and uh, professionally also you are working way hard so thank you so much for taking out time today and sharing your success story with us yeah thanks rakesh yeah thank you